on this RV decor series, I'm gonna show you how I make up my bed. And it's not right. Now, I, this is the way I've made up our bed, even when we had the queen. Changing out to the king, I don't have any room to walk on the sides, but I didn't have any room to walk when I had the queen either. I sleep so much better having the bigger bed. So for this five minutes of making up the bed, it's totally worth the whole night's sleep. I wanted to show you how I make up my bed. Now, I know they make beddies and you can just zip it up and that would probably be the best scenario for us. Bill does not like the beddies. He loves a sheet and the beddies doesn't have a sheet in it. It's just got like the fuzzy comfort coat thing or whatever else. But he likes just having the plain sheet and not everything else. And I like to have all the heavy covers and I have probably way too many on here because we are camping in this in the winter time, majority of the time. And it's usually around 60 degrees when we sleep at night. That's kind of where we keep it at. So it's on the cooler side and I like having all the blankets. So I'm going to show you how I make up my bed. So the first thing that I do is I get up on my bed and I throw everything off. Because for some reason, and maybe it's because it doesn't have a footboard, our house bed, we sleep and don't have a problem at all. Sleeping and the sheets and covers and stuff getting messed up. But here, everything wants to slide off the bottom and it just, we both actually sleep better in the RV than we do in our house. So our bed is super comfortable and we like this setup. Now, let me get back to telling you how I make up my bed. So the first thing I do is I throw everything off but the sheet. And then I fix the sheet. And I go back here. And typically, because everything wants to slide off the end of the bed, if I do this, it'll last a few days. So I'm showing you how I make the bed up from the very first time because for whatever reason the sheets want to fall off the bed then I grab the next blanket and I adjust it then I grab the next one like I said we have too many blankets that's probably my issue My hair's a mess. <laughs> now, the final blanket, I just lay it across the bottom so I can get off the bed for that. Now, I make up my bed this way every morning. I don't put all my pretty pillows over it every time. I almost only do that when we're traveling or on travel days, just because I keep my extra pillows in the closet and I don't have to keep pulling them in and out every day. But this is kind of how I make up my bed. This is probably not the perfect way to make up your bed, but this is the way I do it. Till next time, like and subscribe.